Hello, my name is Kevin. I am the CEO of Cyberworld 7 Incorporation. I was born in Vietnam. It's the country south of China. It has sort of an S shape. When I was one years old, my dad escaped Vietnam due to the abuse of communism. And because he wanted a better life for his family, he set sail to the Philippines, then to Canada. When I was four years old, my dad sponsored both me and my mom over to Canada. At first, we lived under one house with a bunch of relatives. After a year, we moved to my dad's friend's basement. We eventually moved into our first duplex home. I started school in kindergarten at Carter Elementary School. I was not a very bright kid, so it took me a long time to learn how to speak broken English. I even had special help with a specialist teacher for the entire time I was in elementary school. I was bullied by a lot of other kids because I had a big square head and broken English. My junior high school was in Wellington. It was a school full of bad kids who smoked, drank, and did weed. I ended up hanging out with a bad crowd and smoked my first joint when I was 12. I was bullied in junior high and ended up in a lot of fights, but I ended up losing them all. My grades in junior high was mediocre like in elementary. In high school, I met some friends who are still my friends till today. High school gave kids too much freedom and ended up skipping classes in grade 10. I ended up failing every class except for math, which I passed with a mere 50%. During grade 11 and 12, I was working and had to catch up with school so I can graduate from high school. I got my first car in grade 12, which took me two years to save up for. I somehow managed to graduate high school and got my diploma. Also, I happened to be Asian. The disapproval I got from my parents my whole life was very strong. I started post-secondary at Nate at the age of 19. I wanted to get a good high paying job so I took mechanics. I utterly failed the program. My mechanic teacher at Nate told me I was not capable of being a mechanic. So I tried my hand at being an engineer technologist. I had someone to help me and half the time I was copying off them, I failed that program too. After completely failing Nate, I decided I wanted to try to move out of my parents' house with my friend and his cousin. We lived in a ghetto house that we rented off my uncle. It was the most interesting time of my life. The time I spent in the small house was a lot of fun and a lot of drama too. About four months in, we had a cat, a dog, and three other people living in this tiny building. After coming back to my parents' house, I decided I wanted to buy my own house and started to work and save up for a house. I only had $4,000 in the bank, so I had a long ways to go. At around age 22, I worked at Superstore with an average of 32 hours a week. At the age of 24, I got my first full-time job at Manitoulin Transport. By that time, I managed to save up $50,000 and worked two jobs and played video games within the gap. In 2012, there was news Blizzard was planning to release Diablo 3 to the public. I was a huge fan of Blizzard games, so I got excited about that. Blizzard also planned to release a real money auction house for Diablo 3. I knew that Blizzard was going to make a ton of money with this game. So I had an idea to invest into this company. Activision Blizzard was the first company I ever invested in. During the time, I dropped the idea of, of buying a house and saw the market as a way for myself to get rich. So I threw all my money I had into Activision Blizzard and my first year sucked. I bought the stock at $13 and it went all the way down to $11. At first, I didn't quite understand why the stock fell. I thought within 4 or 5 years, the stock could be as high as $40, and within a decade, it could be $100. A year went by, and the stock hit $14. I sold half of my stock because I had uh, doubts and I was feeling emotional. Luckily, it kept going up to $20, and I sold the rest of the stock. I made 8 k off that company, 
It felt good. I started to experiment with my money, so I diversified my portfolio. One day, I was watching the PlayStation conference. They had an announcement for the coming of the PlayStation 4. At the time, I was wondering who manufactured the hardware for the PS4. After some digging around, I discovered that AMD was the one that designed the hardware for the PlayStation 4. I looked up the stock for AMD and I saw it was trading at $2.77. I got excited so I bought some stock. After I became obsessed with the company so I did a lot of research. I gambled on the possibility that Microsoft will use AMD hardware for the next Xbox since the Xbox 360 was using AMD hardware. So I took a gamble and put all my money into AMD. I ended up being right and the stock took off and I basically doubled my money. I thought the company was going to recover and I held on to the stock and even bought more. There was a point in my life where I could have been a multi-millionaire if I threw all my money into Facebook when it went public. I will talk about that in another video. After about a year and a half, instead of recovering, the company was struggling because of the decline in PC sales and the current CEO was not good at his job so he got replaced by Dr. Lisa Su. I was holding onto my shares and even bought more around $2 because I didn't think the company would go bankrupt because Intel and Nvidia would have a monopoly. I knew that AMD had a CPU that was in development for over 4 years with a few billion dollars in R&D. I was right and the company took off in 2016. I also got lucky because there was talks about artificial intelligence. AMD and Nvidia are the only companies that can produce artificial intelligence with the GPUs. AMD stock took off fr from $2 all the way to $11 by the end of 2016. On December 14, 2016, my friend told me that he heard on the news that there was a company called Rural Cannabis building an 800,000 square feet greenhouse facility by the Edmonton International Airport and that Justin Trudeau wanted to legalize cannabis. I saw potential in this company so I invested a quarter million dollars into it and I'm hoping that uh, in a few years it can make me a multi-millionaire. 2017 has been a very interesting year for me. I've been on five trips so far and, and thanks to AMD I have over half a million dollars. I hope to become a multi-millionaire one day. I wanted to release this video for people who are interested in my life, at least the short version of it. Please like, comment and subscribe if you like this content. Thank you for watching.